Hey guys, it's Bool again with Booligan Airsoft and Airsoft Insider Magazine, and today I'm playing with these. So, you guys may recall that Airsplat changed ownership a little while ago. Um, when they changed ownership, they picked up some new accessories, including a whole lot of, and I hate the term, but drones. Drones like this. Affordable drones, expensive drones, all sorts of drones. Um, I've worked with Airspot for a great number of years doing airsoft reviews, and um, I'm still going to be doing that with them, but also going to be checking out a couple of their little flying guys and seeing how they might be useful for airsoft. And one of the ones that may be the most useful for airsoft at a budget price that I've seen so far is this guy, World Tech Toys Striker. This is not a super crazy high quality. I mean, this isn't a DJI, DJI Phantom or anything like that. This is 110 bucks. It includes a, well, it looks like a very nice, very high-tech receiver, but is mainly plastic. You know, pretty simple stuff. It includes this mount here for your phone. Now, why does it need your phone? That is because this guy at the bottom here has this little live feed camera. And that's why I think this one might be pretty useful for the Airsoft field and for the airsoft players because for more military simulation games or you know really uh serious scenarios you may be able to send up a little uav to get some live reconnaissance on the enemy on their movements and things like that now a couple of things about the current drone market and the current drone regulations um Drones over 0.55 pounds, so a little bit over half a pound, have to be regulated with the FAA, or you have to register with the FAA. It's cheap, it's like a $5 registration fee, uh, but you still gotta register them. This one comes in under that, so this does not require registration. I have another one that did require registration, um, and we'll be taking a look at that one in the next uh, couple of weeks, um, but this one does not. It's light enough that it doesn't require it. The kit comes with Everything you need, it includes a small rechargeable battery, which uh, is not here, it's over there. Um, I'll show you guys when we take it out to actually fly it. It comes with a charging cable, but it doesn't actually use a charger per se. It uses just a USB thing, so you plug it into either a USB output for your phone, plug it into your laptop, your computer, and that's how you charge it. It appears to be a relatively smart charger. It charges itself, it knows when to shut off, and its power, the battery is 3.7 volts and 500 milliamp hour. Not a huge battery at all, uh, because weight is the enemy of these things and batteries weigh a lot. Your battery compartment is right here, underneath the camera, right in there. Toss the battery in there. Your camera has these kind of loose plugs here. It plugs in right here. You can run it without the camera, if so desired. Uh, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Um, the camera itself, uh, you get the live feed through your phone, as mentioned before, um, and that connects using Wi-Fi. So you're obviously limited to whatever Wi-Fi range it spits out. Uh, it seems to work pretty well with the range that I've been running. Um, so basically you run out of Wi-Fi range before you run out of range of this. They seem to be pretty evenly matched. Um, but one issue that I've had is just that initial pairing with the Wi-Fi. When you turn it on, um, it sometimes can't find the Wi-Fi network on your phone. Um, and you may have some issues even getting the live footage to go at all. So we'll see if we can get it when I take it out back and we try it out. I've got a little bit of inclement weather. It's not too windy, it's a little bit drizzly, but uh, I think we'll still be able to get some airtime with this. Uh, one thing to note, I had to notify my uh, local airport because I am close enough within range that uh, in order to even fly this thing in my backyard, had to notify them of the flight that I'm about to perform. Uh, if you live within five miles of an airport, maybe consider a different hobby uh, because it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, so um, let's go outside. Let's run through this thing. Let's go over some of the features and uh, let's get some flight time with it. Okay, first thing first, let's go ahead and insert our battery. See, there's a little tiny guy here. It slides up in there. Tight fit. Plug. I'll tuck those wires away as best as possible. One thing funny to note, I see this on off switch is set to on. That's actually off. That's on. Uh, a little backwards, you can tell. You turn it on, lights turn on. Next thing you want to do is you want to pair it with your remote. Okay, we've got it all paired up. We've got it paired up with the phone. You can see the live video footage there. 
and uh, let's uh, take this thing for a spin. Okay, so we've got the remote paired up with that. Took a couple tries, you gotta flip it off and on a couple times till it works. Um, I am having issues with the uh, Wi-Fi. It'll work for a minute, it'll live stream for a minute, and then it drops. So uh, that's unfortunately something that I am still dealing with on this. But so aside from that, let's just see how the thing flies and let's see uh, what I can do to uh, figure out why my Wi-Fi is not working. Okay, gonna do some quick maneuvers with it. Go over your controls. Your left stick controls your power up or down. You can also rotate it left and right. And then this controls your movement in the 3D space. Forwards, right, left, back. And that's in relation to the actual drone itself. You can press a button and it will appear and it will do it in relation to where you are. You also have a button to do flips and speed. But uh, let's just go ahead, let's fly this thing around a little bit, see how it works. Pretty easy to just immediately get up and get flying. I have it set in easy mode, so it's basically working in relation to where I am. I have to turn that off. There's a little bit of a learning curve while you figure out how much the controls operate. You can also throw it to get it to fly that way. So you don't have to take it on, just throw it, and hit the throttle, and it'll go. I don't know how much of this is in frame or not, but we're not going to be doing any high altitude flights or anything like that with it just because of where I am. I'm too close to an airport to do that, so I'll have to take that out for more flights. Uh, but there's certainly fun. For about a hundred bucks, I mean, these are definitely becoming kind of a the, the, the toy of the season for the last couple of years. For airsoft use, you know, I'd like that Wi-Fi connection to be a lot more stable. Um, but you know, that's that's something that I'm working on, you know, both with my phone and with the actual thing itself. Landing is always the hardest part. That was probably the best landing I've ever done. So let's talk about this thing a little bit more. Let's talk about the good and the bad of this thing. The good is that it's super easy to just set up and fly depending on what your expectations are. I mean, this thing will go really pretty high. I mean, a couple hundred feet at least, um, but can't do that out here because of where I am. Um, you do have low battery flight time, about five to eight minutes depending on what you're doing. Um, it does the tricks, it does the flips. You need to have more airspace than I'm currently doing to do those properly, uh, but it'll do them. It has the first person video camera, but it's super hit or miss on if it's actually gonna work. Um, the controls can be super easy or pretty tricky depending on how you have it set up. So it's really not something that's you know for kids. You do have to um, know the rules, you have to know the regulations of flying these things. Um, because you can get potentially into a lot of trouble. Um, the nice part about it is it's a hundred bucks. It's about the price of a super cheap entry level airsoft gun. So if you wanna start getting into the flying hobby, these are an okay way to do it, uh, but just have to manage your expectations accordingly. Don't be expecting like a DJI Phantom or you know, a racing drone or anything like that. These are just you know fun park flyers, nothing too crazy. So if you don't mind me, let's fly it some more.